Hello, um, this video is all about how much to load into your stove when you're lighting, how much to reload when you're reloading, and uh, when to reload. And interestingly, we're gonna be helped by Norwegian, what we call them, engineers, or um, I might have to redo this, what we're gonna call them. Okay, so when lighting, I always say the same thing to people. You start generally with your biggest log on the bottom. Um, and what you'll notice is inside of here, we've got a little slot of holes at the back of the stove. Now, sometimes you'll have a couple of holes right at the very bottom uh, of the stove and then a run of holes at the back. This, this is sort of more modern appliances tend to follow this trend. Um, but that sort of more middle height run of holes, that's your typically your maximum load height. Now there will be other advice in the instruction book which obviously you know read it so you at least know what that is but this is a more general a generalized version of if you stay within these parameters you're about right. So if you're refueling the stove you never want to go above that those air holes because anything above will get blasted with air and just burn away very quickly. That air is always coming in, so it will just be wasteful. You want to keep your fuel always below that, and that way when it hits the air, you get loads of pretty flames. However, when lighting the stove, you do actually commonly put fuel above that rung of holes because effectively, it's like a lighting boost, it's like a you know, like a, I mean, sometimes they are called turbo bars. So they, the idea is it's blasting the fuel with extra oxygen. Um, and ordinarily that would be wasteful, but when you're lighting, it makes it faster uh, and easier. So as always, we work our logs up smaller. We put our kindling on the top and as you can see, we are way above the load line. And that load line is typically that rung of holes going across the middle of your stove. Um, as I say, you only go above that for lighting. So this is a perfect time for reloading. We've got no flame, that's the key. You wait till there's no flame. This is probably, we've probably waited a little bit longer than we needed to um, because we've got a tortoise thermometer, obviously. Uh, you need one of those. Um, but it's just dropped out of best operation. Um, so this is sort of your, your last opportunity to reload. Normally, if it starts cooling down like this, um, it's probably because you're, you know, it's the evening, you're going to bed and you're not going to use it anymore. Um, but uh, at this, at this stage, when there's no flame, or a bit before, again, when there's no flame, we load it up and we make sure, as I've said before, with every reload, we don't go above that line in the middle, which shows uh, where the air is being brought into the stove. As you can see, the vast bulk of the fuel is below the line at the back. Um, because of the shape of the logs, I've ended up, you know, one of them's pointing upwards and that's gone above a bit. Don't worry about that. This isn't like a hard and fast rule that you cannot break. You just do what works and you generally work within the spirit of it. The vast majority of the fuel is below the line and that's generally how I want to keep it. If you've got a bit that's a bit, you know, doesn't quite fit in, stick it above. But that top bit will tend to burn away a little bit quicker. I hope that's helpful. And uh, if you've got any other questions about uh, how much and when to refuel, drop them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them.